So Switch Online is getting an update during the secret play test, which I find a bit peculiar. Nintendo just started and launched their spooky Halloween season sales, and the games are great. Plus, there's a leak that I need to discuss with all of you. So good morning, Mario, and good morning, Switch fans. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there, getting ready for a good weekend. It is going to be good. Because on Sunday night, we will find out what this secret play test of 10,000 players that Nintendo has prepped for us is all about. I know it says people aren't supposed to talk about it, but people are going to talk about it. And I'm so eager to find out what the 2.2 gigabyte app that we're downloading is all about. Now, if you're looking for a way to store that app and more, the Lexer Play Card is the very best Nintendo Switch memory card. They just upped the speed to make it even faster to read and write. It is super secure, super safe, and super strong. It's a huge memory card that you can get in a variety of different sizes to make sure that you always have the storage you need for Switch 1 games, Switch 2 games, and beyond. So make sure to click the link in the description down below. Every time you do, it helps support the channel and the show. And I'm super appreciative of you guys giving me the love that it takes to support this channel and so that I can keep this going through Switch 2 and maybe through Switch 3. That would be pretty freaking awesome, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. What's going on, everybody? Ed Zach from Switch 4 is let's talk about Banjo Tooie. I remember getting Banjo Tooie. I asked my Uncle Patrick for Banjo Tooie when I was little, and that was like a big deal. Like it was a big deal that he wanted to get me and my brother an N64 game. And I was like, dude, you are a superstar. I'm gonna ask for Banjo-Tooie. Banjo-Kazooie was fun, but Banjo-Tooie was more special to me because of how I got it. I actually owned it. I never had a cart for Banjo-Kazooie. I just rented it. Banjo-Tooie though, I had, and it was so much fun. Nintendo announces that Banjo-Tooie is being added to the N64 NSO on October 25th, which is awesome and great. It's about two years after Banjo-Kazooie made it onto the service. But what's weird is, this is during the play period of the play test. We're downloading the app on the 20th, the playtest begins on the 23rd, and yet Nintendo is offering up Banjo-Tooie on the 25th. Is this any sort of indicator of what the playtest is about or what the playtest isn't about? Because I'm still team like GameCube, and if that's the case, would Nintendo be popping out an N64 title while demoing GameCube to loyal expansion pack users? The answer is they could because it's only 10,000 players. In the grand scheme of things, 10,000 players, basically globally, is very, very small. That is a tiny pocket of Nintendo Switch online owners and it's a tiny pocket, tinier pocket of Nintendo Switch console owners. So they could honestly do anything. I'm still leaning GameCube or some sort of like online Miiverse hub type thing. Those are the two best guesses, the things that make the two most logical pieces of sense. Banjo-Tooie, though, is a fun and personal addition to me, for me, and I'm really excited that we get to play it next week. Now, speaking of next week, there's a leak going around, and I didn't want to title a video in this way because some people are poo-pooing this leak and saying, like, nobody should cover it. It's obviously fake. I don't know that it's obviously fake, but I didn't want to lead, like, oh, and say, crazy huge leak because it does come from 4chan, and we know that many false leaks, many just goofy gags appear on 4chan, and they end up having no truth to them. But I thought it was interesting what Necrophilite tweeted about this leak, saying, I saw this floating around, and honestly, I don't see it as that unusual. Obviously, for reasons of 4chan, distrust is our best friend, but what if? Now, this leak says that, don't ask how I know this, but Switch 2 is being revealed next Wednesday. It's literally just called Nintendo Switch 2. It's apparently a three-minute video showing off the new system, and the first game you'll see for the system is a brand new Mario Kart game. The game is characters from Zelda, F-Zero, Star Fox, and Pikmin as new racers. Eight player split screen mode, a new look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond showing playable Silux and a new multiplayer mode, a remake of Kid Icarus Uprising, tiny peeks at a new 3D Mario and Animal Crossing games, shows a bunch of third party titles including Monster Hunter Wilds and Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, system releases in May, sometime around Golden Week in Japan, same month as Super Nintendo World opening in Orlando, full reveal coming in January and February. Now again, grain of salt, I personally don't think this leak is real because I don't think Nintendo is going to lead with Mario Kart. I think they'll probably save that for a bit, but I think this is perfectly plausible. Some things in here that Nintendo would definitely want to highlight as they reveal a new system are Metroid Prime 4 Beyond and its multiplayer, Mario Kart obviously being bigger, better, more rosterful than ever before, and eight player split screen despite being not so useful. I mean, if this system is going to do 4K type graphics, then they can say, wow, now we can do eight players. Like this is Nintendo's first foray into 
good graphics. So I think and expect actually them to be a little bit silly about it, like a little behind the times. I think they're going to tout and amp up this feature of good graphics in a way that might seem silly for Sony or Microsoft, but will seem really big for Nintendo. And that's why a remake of Kid Icarus Uprising sounds like a strange Switch 2 launch title, but maybe graphically it is a way for them to show how far they've come. I could see Kid Icarus Uprising getting a slot. Both 3D Mario and New Animal Crossing being teased in the video though, that, that's a lot. Like sure, we can expect Monster Hunter Wilds, Dragon Ball Spark and Zero, yeah, yeah. But 3D Mario and Animal Crossing and Mario Kart and Metroid Prime 4, like that is a lot. That is a bunch of heavy hitters. A reveal next week, totally believable. A release next May, launching alongside or around Super Nintendo World's opening date, May 22nd in Orlando, totally believable. Full reveal in January or February. I mean, guys, this isn't that far off from what we've all kind of been predicting. I think it's just the specificity that we don't want to believe and the fact that it's from 4chan that we don't want to believe. It's probably not real, but more and more is heating up towards next week with the play tests and honestly us just running out of time before the election, before the holiday shopping season, before Nintendo kind of needs to just kind of close up shop and send this thing into next calendar year. I don't believe this leak, but this is very plausible in terms of what could be at a Nintendo reveal. And if they decided to lead with Mario Kart, that would be absolutely huge. And I do think that is a system seller, a must have title that if it's going to be exclusive on Switch 2, you have to buy a Switch 2. Like, can you really not play Mario Kart 9 if it's incorporating new characters from other franchises, great big online mode, and all sorts of exciting new features? You really can't. Not after 55 million people bought Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, not after the course booster pack helped jolt Nintendo Switch online sales, that would be really like a game breaker. If Nintendo really wants to go for the throat of every other system and the PS5 Pro, which is still in stock, launch with Mario Kart. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Next week still really seems like a fine time to reveal Switch 2. Mario Party Jamboree reviewed well, it's out there. The play test will be secretly going on in quotations. And uh, it's just like that eight year anniversary of the Switch 1 reveal right around the same time. So it would make a lot of sense. But if you don't want to wait for that, if you don't want to hypothesize about Switch 2, why not grab some more games for your current Switch 1? And there's some really good ones in this Nintendo Screaming Deals sale. I'm going to run through them pretty quickly, but I love that it's a lot of new titles that are really quality, getting some discounts. Animal Well is down 20% to $20. Bellatro is down 15% to $12.74. And Bellatro, if you haven't heard, it's addictive, it's awesome, it's poker, but roguelike, and you don't really have to care about card games or no card games to enjoy so much of what makes this game special. Uh, we also get Shin Megami Tensei 5 Vengeance, 30% off. You got Resident Evil 4, 50% off for some of your spooky games on Switch. I really like seeing Dave the Diver down 30% off, $13.99, as they just recently talked about how, like, hey, they want to make Dave the Diver into a franchise, sort of like Shovel Knight. I think that's pretty cool. Signalis is a game I just recently dove into, and it's really awesome if you're a fan of kind of more retro-y horror. $13.99, 30% off. Sonic Frontiers is 65% off, and I'm going to say, hey, I think that's a great deal. $21 bucks for the digital version of Sonic Frontiers to take with you. Might be the best Sonic game this generation. It's a little bit silly. It had like a really barren open world at first, but might get my pick as my favorite Sonic of this generation. Um, Dicey Dungeons for $3. If you don't have it, grab it. Castlevania Advance for $12. I like it. Inscription for $8. Boom, baby. That is the must-buy of the whole list. If you haven't played Inscription, do not look it up on YouTube. Do not be spoiled. Don't even watch the trailer. Just go play it. Amazing game. Phenomenal. One of the coolest experiences I've ever had in a video game. One of my top 10 of all time. Eight bucks, 60% off. Pretty darn great. Alien Isolation is down to $15. Little Nightmares 1 and 2 is down to $15. And Plants for Zombies, though not scary. Well, scary that they did go with Battle for Neighborville instead of Garden Warfare 3, but it's eight bucks. It's always on sale. Uh, also, Fatal Frame, Maiden of Black Water for $28, 30% off, and a nice Spyro and Crash remastered game bundle, which will be our final pick for $26.24, 65% off to get those Spyro games and those Crash games. Wonderful deal. They play great on Switch, and it's one of my favorite remaster remakes ever. I think they hold up super well, and it's fun to play those titles portably. So what do you think of today's topics and stories? Are you getting anything in the Screamin' Deals sales? Are you going to check out Banjo-Tooie on the N64 NSO next week? Or do you think you'll be too absorbed with the playtest? Because frankly, I hope it's absorbative enough 
for us to not have time for Banjo Tooie next week, but we'll find out soon. And do you think there could be a Switch 2 reveal in the works for next week? We're so freaking close. I'll keep you up to date with everything I find out as it happens. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive there. Love you lots. Switch Force out.